Hello and welcome to another Mr. Beats Bike video and this one's a little bit different insofar as we are returning to the RMT 2100 remote control. Uh, this is for the Sony SLHF 2100. Um, a Japanese version is the SL2100, so without the HF. Um, don't believe there's a huge amount of difference between the two machines, if any, um, other than power supply. Um, and you may remember uh, a couple of weeks back um, we did a remote control sort of uh, part one um, sort of looking at remote controls and this one was pretty poor um, even though initially it looked fine uh, under the battery cover um, it's actually really clean um, battery batteries had leaked and um, the, the sort of material that had leaked out had actually gone fallen into the uh, into the remote itself and uh, we got as far as that at least neutralizing it it's not got any worse which is good um, but it's amazing just how quickly it's just it, it's just rotting and uh, my feeling was well my feeling I mean we pretty much proved that the other side of the board is also bad this is a double-sided board um so i've spoken to the owner of this this isn't mine um and he is very happy for me to to really crack on with this and to see if it can be saved um these are so rare uh, these uh, looking guys. at the board well um there is a lot of rot but um, surface mount caps as well. But they seem okay. Gosh, it's even rotted down here. But it seems to have missed pretty much all the vital parts. Like the two, two surface mounts, they look fine. So I suppose we better clean this up. Well... It's looking okay. Um, thankfully, it doesn't look like any tracks are broken. Um, those solder connections are pretty eaten away, but they'll probably be okay. Um, if I can get the other side of the board. Let's see, there's still some rot trying to happen there. Um, get the other side of the board sorted. Then, then we might have a chance of getting this working. Um, okay, so it's a few days on, um, and I now have some silver conductive paint, uh, which I'm hoping will be enough at least to do the tracks on this side. Um, where I really don't want any uh, unnecessary intrusion um, sort of any raised areas more than I, I, I need to I do still need to really clean I didn't notice I hadn't done a very good job there uh, underneath the LED because uh, that's still going to be rotting away oh there we go <laughs> LED's come off um, let's dissolve the solder um, but I have another one um, and this one Aaron has sent to me um, sort of with an urgent request to look at this uh, so there's something weird going on there um, you see the battery terminals look a little bit rotten well thankfully this one is completely clean but because this one is completely clean I can see where all the print printers which is very very useful um you can see here there is some rot tiniest bit of rot there uh vinegar i don't know whether it's necessarily a good idea to do this with the lcd in because i don't really want this getting anywhere near it but at this stage i'm not going to sort of flood it it's just really just to get get a little bit of this um vinegar just get it so it's neutralizing 
between the layers. Oh, yeah, I suppose between the layers. Um, but it's sort of through these um, from bottom to top connections. Okay, so it's a few months on, and I do now have an SL2100. Thank you very much, Aaron. Really appreciate it. Um, and we've also discussed this one. It, it's still eating. It's still being eaten away by the, um, by the corrosion, um, of the leakage, the battery leakage. And it's just, it, it's just terrible. It's, it's just, you can see it's all starting to rot in the, um, where it goes through the print, <clears throat> it's still rotting. Um, I know we tried to clean them out, but you just can't. It just can't seem to. Once it starts, that's it. So the plan is this. I'm pretty sure is good. This is the capacitive touch um, for the remote. Um, this one, the top of it seems to be causing issues so we'll have a look at that but i'm going to replace this one this is the one that didn't seem to want to work correctly at all um it's dead easy to do it's just literally um desold all of those but um yeah uh but the problem i've got at the moment this this was working it's working absolutely fine i'll just put it on today um double checked obviously we've got 100 volts on the um variable transformer and it's dead and I've got 100 volts coming up to here so um, I don't know why I thought this had a transformer I think it's because maybe I think the US ones do but the Japanese ones actually have a switch mode power supply and just have this horrible feeling that it's gone bad um, and to be fair if, if I realized it had a switch mode power supply I would have checked it before I even powered it on the first time but um, hey how you learn live and learn uh, so I've got the problem that I can't test anything either um, which is a bit of a nuisance uh, the other thing I have dug out is this and I think this is bi-directional um, so may well work um, as a replacement for these but we'll have to see I mean at the end of the day the main thing is setting the clock because everything else I can do on the on the front of the machine um, but uh, yeah I think I need to just work through everything and uh, take it from there I suppose so this one is indeed it just won't you know you're pressing <laughs> and nothing is happening and then suddenly when I tried this before it just sprung into life I'm actually tempted just to put the back back on this one um, and to see what this is doing now um, status straight on monitor TV but I can't actually see you see I think I wonder if I've got an LCD problem on this one because it's not nearly as clean so I'm thinking I'll change I'll change the LCD unit for the other one to see if it looks better you can't see any of the dots um, for the the buttons so yeah I think I'll I'll do that on this one okay let's crack on so let's disorder this again Okay, so uh, my solder sucker actually decided it uh, didn't want to play ball anymore. So I've used good old fashioned braid, um, yeah, solder braid, and should come off now. So, oh, you 
can quite see that. I mean, it's become very brown. There's also marks across it. It's sort of like the LCDs just really just failed. Um, so... It takes a bit steady because I don't want to damage the little interconnects. There we go. It's just it's battery contamination there, see? I don't know whether I can lift this off. Yes. Yes, I can. And swap them over. This actually seems a bit different. It's a bit nerve wracking. Just want to make sure it's completely spotless, which it is now. So that's the bad one. So next thing I'm going to do is actually just take a picture of um, the print because if I do happen to ever feel like I can get this other board sorted it would be very useful to know where all the print goes. Um, because some of it sort of makes sense and some of it doesn't so yeah I think it would be a very good idea just to uh, take a picture anyway uh, you never know I might get it going but obviously I mean I've got a bad board now I've got bad LCD and possibly I'm gonna have bad touch on it as well depending on what's wrong with that other one so uh, yeah I'll get and do that now okay so I've taken some photos hopefully they'll be all right um, so get this back together longest connection against the longest bar there I don't I don't I, well you, you probably couldn't get it the wrong way around to be honest but um because there's bits of plastic that get in the way at the bottom but um yeah that should be all okay and I'm going to tighten these put them in loose and then tighten them up sort of gradually so the pressure is equal, or more or less equal, as I tighten it all up. Super, so let's just check this for marks. Uh, actually looks fairly okay. Yeah, so I've given that a good clean. So far so good. This is trying to come adrift. I'll try and do something with that. Let's get soldering. Okay, so just make sure that this is flush. Wasn't quite on that side, so that's good. Yeah, there was actually a little bit of battery corrosion in this one, but not... I can't remember now, but I seem to remember there was a tiny bit just floating about, but luckily it's not done any, any damage by the looks. Yeah, I don't quite want to do with that black surround. I almost want to take it off and sort of reseat it. Well, um, not having the best of times. I'm struggling to find four fully charged batteries, um, but this is fairly close, so it won't be that bright. But yeah, one of them's a bit low. So you can see there, status, turn it on, and you can now see, hopefully, it's not easy. 
the LCD is now working. Um, to be fair, it is brighter than the play. Oh, reverse play. Play. Monitor. And put the LEDs on. Again, you can just about see them. But, um, yeah, so that, that is actually working. Um, and working quite well. I mean, I don't think the LCDs are that great full stop, but at least you can see this one. The other one you just can't see. Um, it's just gone. So that's gone in with the, the rotten remotes. But uh, yes, yeah, so I suppose we ought to have a look at the other one. Okay, so let's get this one apart and see, see what's going on, really. It's a bit odd. Um, this seems to eventually get going. Use a little bit of brute force to get it going, so I didn't show that on camera, fortunately. But yeah, just getting that initial start on it. So I'll do the same this side. Might not be able to now. Okay, so we should. Oh, I just realised I missed. There's two screws at the top and the bottom as well. I missed those on this one, so I'll have to do that. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, I think I might have put the window in the wrong way as well. So the gap, sort of in the in it goes facing the batteries so let's let's just sort this out while i'm while i think about it there we go yeah so that needs to go with that up like so so I think this remote, pretty much all that was wrong with it is it had worn out. It's just been so well used um, that, yeah, it just worn it out. It's a bad LCD. Let's just pop batteries in this one quick. And just make sure I haven't broken anything. Yeah, lovely. Right, so that one is good to go now. The batteries in the right place, got a nice flap. One of the flaps is quite worn, which I think was on the back of this one actually. Uh, yeah, so I'll get the other one done. And uh, oh, yes, we'll take new screws out, won't we? Just stick it in the um, in the back cover and just see what's going on. Ooh, Ooh. bit gunky. I just wonder if a good clean might sort this out. Uh, I need to check those connections at the bottom as well could be maybe a dry. Um, the other thing I was sort of wondering was these caps, whether one of those might be a little bit dodgy. It just seems to, once it gets going, it's okay. I don't know. I uh, will see. I've cleaned it up, but it does look as if the corrosion or whatever's sort of got in there has actually sort of damaged the contacts for the capacitive um, touch. So, well, let's... Let's try it anyway. Uh, I think if I change the um, glass, it'll 
work here. Yeah, you see it's still not working. Um, and I guess that's sort of what's happening. Oh, there we go. Nice and bright. LCD's good. Yeah, you see it's just not working now. Well, I think I'll change the glass. I've got a good glass. Um, and um, we'll take it from there. Uh, I won't show it because I've already sort of shown it, haven't I? So, yeah, let's give it a go. You can see just how the LCD is just really aged. <laughs> so, uh, this is the other glass. That's good. Um, so, what was interesting, I don't really think you can see that, but there's actually like bloom. Bloom from what? I don't know. Uh, you can uh, just about see it there. There. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know what, quite what's happened there. But let's put the... back case back on so we can try it. Oh, straight in. Oh, that looks actually really good. Ooh. I wish the machine was working because I would love to actually try this. Uh, command mode. Tuna TV monitor. It's so cool. So this is good. Uh, there's the time. Setting the time. Transmit. Nothing to transmit to. Uh, so it's just yes and there it goes pretty solid transmit so yeah i mean this is this seems fine really really dry fingers and it doesn't like it so i've just sort of sort of breathed on my finger you can see how dry my skin is so cool that's really cool um the slight thing that bothers me is the other one seemed to act differently uh, so i might just go back and check that one but uh yeah, so I need to just give everything a bit of a clean. See there, it's pretty grubby. I don't know whether it's spillage or something. Something's got into that glass and um, caused it to to just not work properly. Um, you can see there, look, that it's just. It's just got in between the layers. Uh, a bit of corrosion in there. Difficult to focus. But on this side you can really see it. 
sort of where it's sort of brown where it should be gold so that'll do it so just lucky I, I had a spare remote um, I say a spare remote that um, Aaron didn't want all of all three done because uh, I, I couldn't have got them going without having the uh, the really wrecked one so uh, yeah give this a clean and uh, put it back together so there we have it all back together um, this one is really really good um, like I say I'm a bit sort of like because it's so much better. Um, I mean, look at that. That's so cool. I do wonder if the, the relay, all it's doing is giving feedback. I don't think it actually controls anything. But it's so cool. It's just really, really cool. And um, a total pain in the neck. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm just intrigued by this other one because this seems to act differently. And I don't know whether that is really correct. It could be revisions. It could be, I don't know. It's just a bit odd. Um, So let's put the batteries in. I've got a load of batteries coming tomorrow, which is really cool. So status. Yeah, so it is it's it is all there. It's just the L C D is a lot weaker. Um or a lot weaker. sort of see it oh, I think that battery's going flat mm, I'm not convinced this is fully Oh, battery. Oh, yeah, the battery's going. Yeah, that is working. Uh, the battery's going quite flat, which is not helping things. Do you know? Yeah. <laughs> I think that that rogue battery is uh, causing problems. That one, it's the best one I could find. These three are. Uh, 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 brand new this one isn't so uh, yeah but that that's working as well uh, not as the LCD is not as good um, but there we have it so I hope you enjoyed this one something quite different um, these remotes are really quite amazing um, what an amazing piece of um, tech really for the time and we have two working. Uh, it's going in the box. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Uh, because that ain't going nowhere. Um, it's just so rotten. And obviously, I mean, I've now got bad parts for it. Um, screws. Um, so, yeah real shame that we have lost one remote but we have two good ones now um one better than the other you can all you can actually see the difference in um use with those this one is obviously a lot more heavily used as faded um you can even see the sort of mark in the lcd so with that, thank you very much for watching and uh, a like and a subscribe is always very gratefully received. Um, I do really appreciate it. We're still only a small channel, which is quite nice in some ways. But uh, yeah, 
subscribe would be fantastic. It uh, really helps the channel. And uh, I will hopefully see you in another video. Bye for now.